The threat to the U.S. and Canada by Chinese surveillance is under further scrutiny tonight after a significant revelation from the head of the North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD, who admitted previous Chinese spy balloons went undetected. CTV's Annie Bergeron Oliver on the puzzle and the search for the pieces. Off the Carolina coast, specialized crews are searching a section of the ocean, 15 football fields long by 15 football fields wide, and slowly pulling pieces of the Chinese spy balloon to shore. Boom! Two days after it was shot down. The balloon is completely destroyed. By a U.S. fighter jet. What China did was unacceptable. We protected civilians and we gained more intel while protecting our own sensitive information. NORAD officials say the balloon was about 200 feet tall, with a technology attachment the size of a small commercial airplane weighing more than 2,000 pounds. China maintains it was only a weather balloon that veered off course and today called the decision to shoot it down an unacceptable and irresponsible act. We made it clear to China what we're going to do. They understand our position. We're not going to back off. We did the right thing. The balloon first entered U.S. airspace on January 28th through Alaska before heading into western Canada, then re-entering the U.S. on Tuesday, where it was spotted over Montana. The head of NORAD says its path was no mistake. The balloon was trying to collect information on the two countries. This was uh, an unacceptable infringement of uh, airspace uh, and Canadian sovereignty, and that is precisely why uh, we have been closely coordinating in our binational efforts with the United States. Initially, there was speculation that a second balloon had entered Canadian airspace. The head of NORAD says CF-18s were deployed, Omar, but that they couldn't find anything to corroborate the reports. All right, any thanks.